Hello everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm very excited because we are finally back with my first video of the new year. Happy 2023 to everybody. Hope you had a really good New Year's and a happy holidays. I'm officially now ready to go ahead, clear this out, and try out a bunch of new stuff. So I don't know what's happening with my lip products. I keep losing them in my bags and just various things. So I don't really know what's going on here, how different that is going to be from the last time you saw it. And then I'm pretty sure all this stayed the same, this stayed the same, and then I think I got actually two new concealers, which we will talk about a little bit more. But let's go ahead, start pulling stuff out, see what I'm going to keep, see what I'm going to put back, and we can go ahead and refresh this for the new year. So I guess we will go ahead and probably start out with this section over here. These are going to be like my powder complexion products, um, aside from this one, which is a cream. So I have this one here from Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Cancer in Light Medium. As you guys know, I absolutely love this. I'm obsessed with it. You can see I have a pretty big pan going on in it. It gets a little bit gross like for my brush, so don't mind that. But I actually think I'm going to put this one back for now just because I do have a Charlotte Tilbury one that I've been working on a little bit and I kind of want to make that my only cream contour or cream bronzer option for now. So even though I love this, of course, I'm going to just go ahead and take that out for today. And for powder bronzer, I have my Too Faced Natural Chocolate in the shade Golden cocoa i have been using this so much i am obsessed with it i think this is an amazing bronzer but since i have been using it for so long and i haven't done a shop my stash update in probably close to a month now i do think i'm ready for something new and i'm going to go ahead and take this one out as well I have my Milani Luminoso, and this one, I mean, is just amazing. As you guys know, I always love this one, but I do want to try and work on putting this one down for a little bit and then trying out a different blush. So again, even though I love it and I've been making really, really good progress on it, you could see it was originally a baked blush and it's pretty flat, still got a ways to go, but I'm going to take that one out. And with my Natasha Nona Super Glow, I am also going to take this one out as well. Again, even though I really love it, I just am ready for something new. I have this little Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas Featherweight Primer. I guess I'll leave that in there. I must have gotten that from like a Sephora like order or something like that. So I'm going to leave that in here. And then I also have my little Chantecaille blush in the shade Grace, which it has taken me so long to finally put this into a shot my stash and actually use it. And I have really, really been liking it. And I actually think I'm going to go ahead and keep that one in here for now. Then I guess we'll move on to some of these cream products back here. So let me just go ahead and pull these all out. Oh, I also have this here from Bare Minerals, the powder concealer and Well Rested. I don't use this every single day, but I do just like to have it in here to keep it like easily accessible. So I'm just going to pop that back there. But then as far as these go, oh, I also have my one brow gel. This is from Innisfree. This is the Skinny Brow Mascara in the shade 02 Espresso. And I am just going to keep that as well. Then I have these three cream products here, and I actually think I'm going to keep all of them in here. I have the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush, I think they're called, and this one is in the shade Hope. This is pretty new to me, and I've really been liking using it, so I'm going to keep that. Then this is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand that I was talking about using earlier. This is in the shade Fair Medium. I have been making really good progress on this, and I just kind of want to get that out. Not that I don't like it. But it's so close to being finished that I would really like to go ahead and use this up in the beginning of the year. And then another one that I have is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. This is the blush, and I just think this is so beautiful. I have the shade Pink Gasm, and I just really like using that one. So I'm going to go ahead and keep all of those in here. And we can go ahead and move on to my little concealer section over here. And I have three in there right now. So this is one of the new ones that I picked up. And this is more of an eye brightener, they call it. Um, it's the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. And I have mine in the shade Light. And this is so good. It has this really, really cool kind of like metal applicator that's really nice and cooling on the under eyes. And I use this in addition to my NARS concealer, which I actually went ahead and returned the Charlotte Tilbury one. If you guys watched my makeup declutter or maybe it was a shot my stash I was like saying how I don't really love that one I ended up just returning it because it had like glitter and sparkles in it and it just was really not what I was looking for so I returned that and I picked up this little mini NARS instead and I've just been putting these on my under eyes and the NARS one just like a little bit all over my face and I have been loving this combination so I am going to keep those two then I had these two concealers in here as well. This is the Rose Ink Concealer in LX30. And then I had the Benefit Boy and Cakeless Concealer, which I love in the shade number one. But I do think I am just going to go ahead and put both of these back and maybe pull for a different one. 
So those are my concealers all done. We're actually going through this pretty quick today. Um, of course, I have my two little palettes in here, which I am just going to leave them. I have the Alamar Hydrating Complexion Trio, which, as you guys know, I love that powder and I love the bronzers. Don't use them every, every single day, but I do just like to have the option and it's easy to keep them in here. And then same thing with this Pat McGrath Divine Blush and Glow Trio in Galactic Sun. It has the two blushes and the highlighter in it, and they're both really good as well. So I'm going to go ahead and keep both of those in here. Then for my lips, ooh, this is going to be tough because I feel like I need to rotate my lips, but I really like all of these. Um, I guess one I'm definitely going to keep in here is this one from Trixie Cosmetics. This is in, I believe, Scarlet Letter. Yeah, this is so good. Definitely keeping that one. Same thing with my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium 2 lip liner. I'm going to keep that. I guess I'll put back the Romand Rose Splash, like, watery, lasting water tint, I think it's called. I do like it, but I haven't been using it, like, every single day, so maybe I can go ahead and pull for something else. So I'm going to put that one back. Then I have my little M Cosmetics Venetian Rose Lip Cushion, and I am going to keep this one. I wore it the other day, and I thought it was really, really pretty. It goes really nicely with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner, so I'm going to keep that one. Then I have my Clinique Black Honey Almost Lipstick, of course, going to keep that one. And then these two, I do really like them, and I have been using them both a lot. This is the House Labs PhD Lip Oil in the shade Hue, which is like a really pretty kind of very purpley color and I do really like it but I think I'm actually going to put it back for now and then same thing with this Queen Cosmetics one this is in the shade Pink Jelly I have really really been liking using this like putting it on top of the other products that I use I think that it's really good but again I am going to put that one back so now that we took everything out let's go ahead and move on to the drawer below so we can figure out what products we are going to put into here so we went ahead and moved down a drawer. Do you think I actually organized this a little bit different? I got these sort of like more malleable organizers and I mixed up a couple of things from my last video when I did a bit more of an organization. So if that's why it looks a little bit different than normal, that is why. But of course I did get some makeup and stuff for Christmas time. So I do have a couple of things I wanna try. One of them being this highlighter from ColourPop. This is from the It's a Small World collection. The Jubilant Chorus Super Shock Highlighter. And this is so pretty. It came with two highlighters. One is a little bit deeper and then this one is the lighter one. So I am going to pull for this one This is like where I have all my creams and stuff in here by the way So we're not going to pull from any of those just because I did keep those other cream ones But we also have these here. So I have from the small world collection as well I have this one in the shade around the world, which is like a sort of hot pink color Maybe we'll put that one back. Then we have happiest cruise and this one is a little bit of a more sort of muted berry color. And then we also have this one, which is a deeper red. And this is in Dancing Darlings. I think, you know what? I might just leave those on the side for now and pull for a different blush. Maybe one that I haven't used like as much recently, which you know what? I think I actually want to pull for my kimchi chic one. I used to use this a ton over the summer and then I was like, you know what? I have to stop using it. But to be honest, I just really want to reach for it again. So I'm going to pull this one. And then for a bronzer, I've really, really been missing using this NARS one. This is the NARS Valyarda matte bronzer but it has like this sort of glow even though it says it's matte i think it's really pretty and i have been missing using this one so again i'm gonna pull that one and you know what i feel like this one could be kind of cute because both of the blushes that i have in my drawer right now are both matte the kimchi one and then the one from chantikai and this little super shock highlighter in whimsical ride actually has a little bit of a sort of pinky bronzy type of hue to it and i think that could be really really nice as a blush topper so i'm gonna pull for both of those super shocks the Kimchi Chic Blush, and the NARS Bronzer. Then we can go ahead and put the rest of this stuff back. Oh, I also have this from Rare Beauty, their highlighter for a powder one. I'm gonna pull this one as well. This is in the shade Exhilarate. This is so pretty. Back my Super Glow, which actually, I don't think the Super Glow fits standing up, so I may just need to put that there for now, even though it doesn't really look that good. And then I have this blush. So that fits pretty well. Let's go ahead and move on to the next drawer below. Again, so in here, I sort of mix things up a little bit. This is my lip glosses, anything that's sort of in like this type of tube. And then I just have like one lip balm. And then I have my lipsticks in here, all my eye products, and then my ColourPop Super Shock shadows down there. So let's go ahead and pull for a lip. I have a couple of these ones from the It's a Small World collection which, ooh, I don't know, should I pull this one? This one is in the shade Lock Tower, and I believe this is like a lip tint. And I don't know, you know, it could be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one. 
And then I also want to pull another gloss, which maybe I will take this one from Rowan. This is in the shade Charlie. This is really, really good. And I haven't used it in a while, so I do want to pull for that one. Maybe we'll go for a lipstick. Oh, I'm missing actually my new one of these that I got, the one in Cranberry. I don't know where that is. It's probably in a bag somewhere. So I would have pulled for that one, but maybe it's a sign we'll go for something different. I also have one here, the Pillow Talk Medium 2 Actual Lipstick to go with the lip liner. So I am going to take that one. And then we will just go ahead and put back the other products. And we will just kind of leave it at that for now. Don't mind the cables everywhere, but now we are on to the last drawer to pick stuff from. This is like primers, setting spray, concealers, foundations, and powders. So for my powder, I actually didn't realize I had this on my desk. I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Labs one. I've been really, really liking this one. It's their under eye blurring powder. I hit pan on it. Oh my gosh, it's going to make a mess. But I'm going to pull that one as well, which it was already in my drawer. It was just on my desk, but I'm going to keep that one. And then for concealer, we'll do another concealer. Maybe we'll actually take this one from the Sayum. This one is in the shade light beige, I believe. I'm not sure what the actual name is, but I believe it's in 1.5. So I'm going to pull that one to add because if I, if I remember, I do really like that one. And for powder, I also have this little mini Laura Mercier one. Skin's been really dry, but we're actually going to find out in an upcoming video the products that I've been using to help my skin and make it not as dry. Um, spoiler, it's going to be some products from YesStyle, which I have been loving YesStyle so much. So stay tuned for that video. I might be able to actually use loose powder. So I did get this for Christmas in like a little kit from my parents. So maybe I'll pull the Laura Mercier powder as well. We'll have that one and the Pat McGrath. So... I think that'll be it for now. For primers, I do have some on my desk already. I actually have these three up on like my desk area. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow. This one from LYS, the, the Secure Skin Gripping Primer, which I actually think I can go ahead and put back for now. And then the Steel One Step Correct. So I'm going to keep these two. And then for foundation or whatever, this is a BB cream. I have the Misha Perfect Cover in the shade 23 Natural Beige. So this is what I use like as my foundation, but I don't really wear foundation that often. Um, just pretty much concealer. So just remember, I also have these ones as well. They're just not going to be like in the actual drawer just because I don't have space for it. So I sort of keep them in like a little storage thing like on top of my desk. I think that is going to be everything for now. Let me go ahead and move up to the top drawer so we can start putting everything back. So we are going to add in these three products here. Again, we have the ColourPop Fresh Kiss in Clock Tower. Then we have the Rowan Liquid Lip Balm in Charlie. And then the Mini Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in Pillow Talk Medium 2 to match the lip liner. Then for face products or like cheek products, we have my Pat McGrath powder. We have this Laura Mercier powder, this NARS bronzer, the Kimchi blush, the Rare Beauty highlighter, these two little color pop highlighters and then the Chantecai blush which we already had in there as well so a lot more products this time last time it was pretty sparse in there so i'm excited to have a couple more options i also forgot to put these back so i'm going to put these two concealers away and then we're going to add in this one here from the Sayum. and you know what guys i think that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed watching the shop my stash seeing a couple of new little products that i have i had a lot of fun going through it i missed doing my shop my stash videos but don't worry they are going to be back regularly i was just super busy with the holidays and then as if you guys saw my community post i did get sick unfortunately so i wasn't able to film anything because i completely lost my voice but again i really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video and i will see you in my next one bye guys